So here we are uh, just off the coast of uh, Elephant Island. Uh, this is the island that uh, Ernest Shackleton and his crew uh, finally got to after their ship Endurance was caught in the ice and sunk. I think it took them several months to get here and then uh, Shackleton and some of his crew rode lifeboats uh, to go get help. His crew stayed on here, this island, for uh, three or four months uh, before they were rescued. And uh, there's the big glacier that comes off the island. And if you look way down there, that island, very jagged looking, looks just like uh, Michael Scalig Island that is off the coast of Ireland that we were at uh, what was that in August, September? So beautiful, beautiful scenery. Elephant Island is located about 150 miles northeast of the tip of Antarctica Peninsula. Uh, Elephant Island has a few has few plants and animals. Uh, has some seals and penguins, though. Uh, it is a prime location for observing whales. Uh, the island is not well visited and has remained relatively unstudied due to its remoteness and difficult terrain. As you can see from the coastline, it is rocky, sheer walls of, uh, of stone and glaciers. Royal Caribbean has done a pretty good job on this world cruise so far, but they fell a little short in Antarctica. Uh, be sure to watch the end of this uh, video when I kind of explain where I think they kind of missed the boat as far as our time in Antarctica, although it was still just a fabulous experience. During the whaling days in the 19th century, crew would sit up in the crow's nest looking for whale spouts. And once they found them, they'd say, there she blows, and the ship would head for the uh, pot of whales. As you can see in this uh, section of video, we had a whole big pot of whales following us. Once the whales were spotted, the whale boats were launched, and the crews raced to reach the, see who could reach the whales first. Um, if they caught up with them, they would throw a harpoon into the whale. Uh, wasn't to kill him but was to slow them down and to get to the point where they could uh, put a lance into the heart. Uh, these uh, whalers would usually go to sea for up to four years at a time uh, racing around the world finding whales. Uh, they almost hunted them to extinction and thank goodness there was a ban placed uh, on whale hunting. Leave it to man to uh, exploit uh, wonderful animals. This is uh, the eastern edge of uh, Elephant Island and with that we are going to turn north and head up to uh, the Falkland Islands. Uh, we'll be at sea tomorrow and then uh, the next day we'll be at the Falklands. Hopefully uh, the weather will be good enough to allow us to uh, to anchor in the harbor and tender ashore. We changed our entire schedule. Uh, we came down to Antarctica first before going to Falklands just because of the uh, uh, the storms and the high seas. We would not have been able to, uh, to land on the island. So this is the uh, eastern end of, uh, of uh, Elephant Island. It is a very rugged and uh, hostile looking place. I have the vaguest idea how Ernest Shackleton and his crew survived out here for what was it, six, five, six months, uh, plus rowing across this ocean to get help. Uh, I will definitely uh, come up with the history on that a little bit more uh, tomorrow as I put this video together. But, Laura and I, where are you? There you are. I've had a grand time 
in Antarctica. Because we will be leaving uh, Antarctica waters here sometime in the next few hours. And uh, like I said, heading north up to Falklands. Shackleton's expedition left England in August of 1914. His goal and plan was to cross Antarctica from the Wendell Sea over to McMurdo Sound via the North or via the South Pole. Shackleton's expedition ran into problems uh, when they got uh, the ship Endurance got trapped in the ice and drifted for 10 months in the ice flows before the ship was finally crushed by the ice. After the Endurance was sunk, uh, Shackleton and his crew spent another five months on the ice using the whale boats to uh, uh, as shelters and also to uh, get through the, uh, the ice and they finally made their way to Elephant Island which is this island right here. As I recall they made their way or landing on Cape Valentine uh, but it was not very hospitable and they made their way down to Point Wild and uh, Shackleton realized their chances of being rescued by a passing boat here were pretty slim and so him and uh, a small number of his crew uh, they took to the well boats and they headed out for uh, South Georgia Island which was about 800 miles away uh, they made that journey in 16 days and then when they got to St. George Island they realized they were on the wrong side of the island and were the first to cross the entire island to the other side to get help it took Shackleton four months before he was able to return to Elephant Island and rescue uh, his crew that was there. The amazing thing is, not one of Shackleton's crew died during this incredible uh, adventure and journey. Shackleton's crew that remained on the island uh, made shelters by turning their whaleboats upside down to make the tops of their shelters. And they survived mainly on uh, uh, seal meat, penguins, and uh, whatever else they could find to, to eat or nibble on. Not sure how they uh, stayed warm during their time on the island. Uh, there is no firewood or anything you can burn for fuel. And it is a very rugged and inhospitable uh, terrain. But somehow they made it. Probably one of the greatest stories in uh, survival and on, and on Shackleton's part on leadership. I think uh, Royal Caribbean kind of uh, missed the boat on Antarctica. Lara was here about 10 years ago. And they were on Holland America, she was on Holland America cruise line. And I'm not a Holland American fan, they, they have their own issues. But when they arrived in Antarctica, there was no music that was allowed outside the ship. The passengers were asked to speak quietly so as to maintain the solitude and natural beauty of Antarctica. And uh, they didn't allow any smoking outside either. They also had a, uh, an expert on Antarctica that was talking on the uh, softly on the loud system inside the ship, explaining everything that they were seeing or experiencing. Uh, identifying whales and the type of whales they were is very informative. Now, Royal Caribbean, as we were sitting uh, in uh, Paradise Bay, they had uh, rock music blaring from their outdoor bar, which is right up there, and people were laughing, joking, yelling. Uh, it was very noisy. It's like a party boat. And, uh, sorry, that's my door banging because it's rocking back and forth. And the only 
information that was handed out as to what we were seeing was once in a while the captain would get on the loudspeaker system and say okay on the port side we'll be passing this location or there's some whales on the left port side or starboard side but no really in-depth detail about what it was and so uh, I realized Royal Caribbean doesn't come down to Antarctica very often and uh, that uh, this was new to them, but my recommendation to Royal Caribbean is the next time they bring a ship down here, let's try and uh, stop the music. In fact, we called them up the second day and said, turn off the music from the outside bar. And they did. They need to do that. They need to have uh, a very informative person that is uh, talking about the locations as we are there, not just the captain popping up, you know, every couple of hours and saying something. So um, that's my one complaint about Royal Caribbean. Up until now, it has been great. They've done a wonderful job, and we are really glad we're here. And uh, to keep this thing from banging. Um, and our experience in Antarctica was incredible. It wouldn't trade them, but it could have been a little bit better. So there's my advice to Royal Caribbean. If you enjoyed our video, please hit the like button and then subscribe to our channel Around the World in 274 Days. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post a new video which our next one will be in a couple days on the Falkland Islands. And hopefully we'll be seeing some uh, king penguins there. Thanks for watching.